we know that we can write numbers till 39 using symbols i, v and x. So using these three symbols we can write till 39 but we face a problem when we are writing 40 because in case of 40 we have to write four x's together which is not allowed in case of Roman numerals. We cannot have four symbols of same type consecutively. So what is the solution to this problem? Well, for that Romans have symbols representing larger numbers and using these other numbers can be represented. So here in this case we have L which represents 50. So if we have L equal to 50, how does it help us write 40? Let's see. First of all, we know that L is equal to 50. Now in terms of 50, if we want to write 40, we'll have to subtract 10. So we'll have to use this symbol as well, which is X. So we have 50 and 10, only then we can represent 40. So we have L equal to 50 and X is equal to 10. Now to write 40, we'll have to write 50 minus 10. Now 50 minus 10 is nothing but X to the left of L, isn't it? Because we know that whenever we have a symbol to the left of a larger symbol, then it is subtracted. So in this case, it is 50 minus 10, which is nothing but 40. So we can write XL is equal to 40. So how do we write 40 in case of Roman numerals? Well, in terms of 50, that is in terms of L. So we write a 10 to the left of 50, which means 10 less than 50, which is 40. So this is how we write 40. And once we have 40, we can easily write the next numbers that is 41, 42, 43 and so on. Now again in this case we know that L is 50. Now how do we write 60? It's very simple L plus X that is 50 plus 10 is 60. Now what about 70? L plus x plus x that is 50 plus 10 plus 10 which is 70. Now what about 80? 50, 60, 70, 80. So this is 80. Now what about 90? Can we use only these symbols to represent 90? Let's try. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. But there is a problem. We cannot have more than three of the same symbol consecutively. So we cannot write 90 in this particular form. So what will we have to do? Well, again, we'll have to take the help of another symbol, which is C, which represents 100. So 90 is 10 less than 100. So we place a 10 to the left of C and we get 90. And similarly, we write all the other numbers. So as soon as you reach a limit where you cannot write more than four of any particular symbol consecutively, you take the help of next larger symbol in case of Roman numerals. So as you can see, we have L which represents 50, then we have C which represents 100 and then once this is done, you cannot use more than three C's, then you go for D and when you are not able to use more than three D's, you go for M and so on. So this is how we write different numbers using Roman numerals. So now we have 399. Can you write this using Roman numerals? Well, let's try. First of all, let's have this table here. So we have 
i which represents 1 v which represents 5 x 10 l 50 c 100 d 500 and m 1000 now what do we need to do first we need to break up this particular number so we have 300 plus 90 plus 9 isn't it so we can write it as 300 plus 90 plus 9 so what did we do well we broke these numbers into smaller numbers 300 can further be written as 100 plus 100 plus 100 and then you have plus 90 plus 9 now this in roman numeral form will be well we know 100 is c so we can write this as c another c another c and then we have 90 now how do we write 90 90 is nothing but 10 less than 100 so it means we'll place an x before c that is 10 before 100 so it will be 90 and then we have a 9 how do we write a 9 9 is 1 less than x so 1 less than x and this is how we write 399 so when we represent 399 this is the representation in form of roman numerals so what did we do well we broke it down into smaller numbers and we started with the largest symbol and gradually we moved to the smaller representations now let's try another number it is 1664 so again if we break this we can write it as 1000 plus 600 plus 60 plus 4 so we have 1660 plus 4 now can we break it further according to the available symbols well we don't have anything for 600 but we have a 500 and we also have a hundred so we can write it as 1000 plus 500 plus 100 so this represents 600 plus again we don't have any symbol for 60 but we have symbol for 50 as well as 10 so we can write it as 50 plus 10 and then we have 4 so now how do we write these in terms of roman numerals well let's see first of all we have 1000 which is m so we have m then we have 500 plus 100 now 500 is d and 100 is c and since it is plus so we will write d and to its right c so they get added so we have 600 here then we have 50 plus 10 now 50 is l and 10 is x so how do we write 60 l x l and to the right x and then we have a 4 how do we write a 4 i v so when we write 1664 this is how we represent it so this is the 
representation of 1664 in terms of Roman numerals and in this way you can represent any number using Roman numerals. So now that you know how to write numbers using Roman numerals, try to answer this question. Which one of these is the correct representation of 289 using Roman numerals? Is it the first one, the second, the third or the fourth? What do you think? Well, let's see which is the right answer. So we have C that is 100. So 100, 100, 100 that is 300. We have a V and then an X. Now we have a smaller numeral to the left of a larger numeral. So we will subtract 10 minus 5 which is 5. So this is 5. But that is absurd because we already have V as a symbol for 5. Why do we need to write it as this? It's not required at all. So this is completely a wrong form. This cannot represent 289 at all. Now let's come to this. We have 100 and 100. So that is 200. Then we have a V that is 5 and then we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 ones and then an X. So even if we take this as one unit and this as one unit, we have 200 and then we have a 8 and then we have a 9. It doesn't represent 289 because it is 200 plus 80 plus 9. So it cannot be 289, it is 80 and 9. So if you write in this particular form, it will be wrong. And also you must have noticed that here four of the same symbol is being used. That is I is being used four times, which is anyways not allowed in Roman numerals. Then let's come to this. We have 100 and 100, which is 200. Then we have L, which is 50. Then we have X three times, which is 30, 50 and 30, which is 80. And then we have a 9. So we have 289, exactly this particular form. So this is the right answer. So you see, there can be different ways in which you can represent it, but only one is correct, where you break it properly, that is 200 plus 80 plus 9. So you see, Roman numerals even today are used in many different forms. Although the main number system followed in today's times is the Arabic number system, but Roman numbers are used to represent many different events. For example, Super Bowl. Now, what is this particular number? It's 38 X X X that is 30 and then you have 5 and 3 that is 38. So it is Super Bowl 38. Similarly, WrestleMania 24, 24. Then you have this particular number, New York, and then you have this particular number, which is nothing but 1664. And then you have Olympics. So even Olympics are written in the form of Roman numerals. So all these are different examples of how Roman numerals are used in today's time. And you see that playing with Roman numbers is so easy and fun. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all learning resources as per ICSE, CBSE, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. 
personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You also get amazing prizes like PlayStations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at deltastep.com, learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So register for free now.